The other um, advanced backstroke drill that I like to use sometimes is a uh, spinner drill, and I think it's pretty common. Uh, and I did, I, honestly, I didn't do a great job of it uh, because usually the way you're supposed to do it is you almost sit up kind of like that, up in the water. You're not worried about head position or body position. It, and by sitting up, it lets you it lets you really get your tempo up a lot higher than normal. Um, and then as you pr transition past halfway, you lean back into the water and you try to maintain the same tempo uh, as you were doing before. So here we can uh, we can play it again, see if um, see if if we can spot all the changes. So you come up first, eyes up front instead of to the ceiling. Focus only on getting as fast a tempo as you can. And then as you transition past halfway, you kind of lean back and try to maintain the same tempo. Now the reason we do it in backstroke is because backstroke is more, even slow backstroke is more of a, you have a windmill of the stroke where the hands are opposite each other almost all of the time. And uh, the tempo of backstroke is just much, much higher than freestyle. There's less of a glide and more just stroke to stroke. Uh, in a higher tempo. So this drill kind of works on that tempo part of the drill. But again, it's an advanced drill. You don't want to do it with young kids who really the focus should be distance per stroke, distance per stroke, distance per stroke. We can always get tempo and speed and conditioning in later.